Has anyone here ever watched The Matrix? Yeah? Does anyone here understand The Matrix? <laughs> Does anyone here know the difference between the red and the blue pill and what exactly they mean? Does, is anyone here able to apply The Matrix into their personal lives? No. Well, neither am I. But luckily tonight, we have Zach Egan Ruan here to teach us about the importance of The Matrix. Zach. Have you ever had a dream that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you be able to tell the difference between the dream world and the real world? Those were the words spoken by Lawrence Fishburne's character Morpheus in the movie The Matrix, released back in 1999. The movie itself is all about humans and a specially chosen computer hacker named Neo who are trying to free the human race from a computer simulation called The Matrix, which was set up by the machines in order to enslave the human race and power their species. Now, that's all just Hollywood, but Morpheus did actually have a point. Could we be living inside a computer simulation exactly like the Matrix? Well, first off, we need to refer to Morpheus a lot. As he explains to our savior, Neo, who is known as the one because, you know, he's going to free all the humans from the Matrix. He asks, well, what is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, what you can taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. How do I know this? Well, your five senses, when each of them are active, can send electrical signals to your brain for you to react in an instant, just like that. But what if you begin to notice that your five senses aren't really acting the way they're supposed to act. Something's not right. Well, the one thing that's making you think this isn't your brain. It's your mind. Your mind is what makes things real and is what makes your brain display what is happening out in front of you that really isn't. Deja vu is commonly referred to this. Have you ever seen or done something you could have sworn you'd seen before? That's called deja vu, and it's your mind playing tricks on you. Now, one of the biggest tricks our minds can play on us is called the Mandela Effect. Now, for those who don't know, the Mandela Effect is named after a worldwide phenomenon that occurred in 2013 when the news of the former South African president, Nelson Mandela's death, had been spread across the world. Now, the odd thing was, was that many people who live in around the late 1980s vividly remember seeing on the news one night a report that stated that Nelson Mandela had actually died while serving his life sentence in prison. Now, this couldn't have been true. Nelson Mandela died of a respiratory infection in 2013. These contested memories sparked mass uproar on social media and across the internet. Odd thing is about the Mandela effect, it's still being challenged to this very day. This time with a children's book series called The Berenstein Bears. Now, The Berenstein Bears was a children's book series published many years ago by a young couple. I remember my mom used to read these books to me when I was a baby. But what was very weird about most parents who grew up with these books, they recall the word Berenstein being spelled a little differently to what you're seeing on the screens right now. They remember the stain actually had an E in its place instead of an A. Now, 
What was shocking was, upon reading these books once again to their kids, they noticed that the E was gone, and now had been replaced with an A. Could this have been what we call a glitch in the matrix? We may never know. Another instance for this is also doppelgangers, which are people who literally look like identical carbon copies of each other. But out of all of these tricks our minds can play on us, the biggest trick it can play on us is called a glitch in the matrix. Now, a glitch in the matrix is when something literally not possible is happening right before your eyes. For example, many people have told stories of themselves, driving on motorways late at night and staring out their car window but seeing a driver on the opposite lane with no eyes, no mouth, no expressions, nothing. Now, there are a few people in the world today who begin to question their reality, including the great Elon Musk, who is the CEO of Tesla and the founder of the SpaceX program currently being run by NASA. Now, we can easily compare these people to the certain red pill and blue pill given in the Matrix movies. These pills are given to people who begin to question their imprisonment inside the Matrix and are looking to find an answer to a question that drives their mind crazy. Now, I'm sure when you begin to question your reality, I'm sure you feel a lot like Alice, tumbling down the rabbit hole, wanting to find an answer to the question that drives your mind crazy. Am I real? Do I exist? Does, does everything around me exist? And most importantly, what is the matrix? Well, the pills are the next step to discovering your reality. You take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. Your mind basically just decides to abandon that question. Now, if you take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And you're going to find out how deep the rabbit hole really goes. By taking the red pill, you've chosen to find the true answer to that question in your mind. But questions aside, we might already be living inside a matrix of our own making, just like Neo. The matrix is everywhere. It is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. The matrix that exists as of today, the one in which we can't free our own minds from, is our own technology. Our smartphones, laptops, gaming consoles, iPods, each one of these is an essential item in our daily life. For years, we've allowed ourselves to become dependent on machines to survive, that if either one of these got taken away from us, particularly the internet, I'm sure there would be mass panic until these things are once attainable again. So, does the matrix exist? Are we literally that careless not to realize we are in a matrix of our own making. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. But really, does the matrix exist? Well, yes and no. No, we are not enslaved by machines and used as a power source to power a post-apocalyptic world. No, 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 forget that. 
But we are inside a matrix frequently. It's super glue to us. And it forms a bond between two that can lead to dire consequences if broken. It's a bond between a human being and this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the matrix. Thank you and have a good night.